I miss that one sort of love. I have no misconception that I am lonely. Despite my introversion, I have a wonderful family who love me unconditionally, and I'm lucky enough to have friends who cherish me and I them. And yet, I know I miss that one sort of love. The kind you find from a special, certain sort of partner. I even have long-term friends, though. People who I hope I get to keep in my life for as long as they and I live. I know that we may grow distant, or that I might encounter new friends, but such is the nature of living among other people. No, it's, it's a love I didn't even know I could participate in. I had assumed that I was incapable, in fact, as a younger, smaller person. A love where you trust and forfeit your whole soul to the other person, and they do the same to you. A brutal, painful sort of love, that when it ends, invariably leaves me crumbled and broken. But I still seek it out. I must. Because in the moment where that love can be kindled, it, it burns with such an incandescence that I can't even fathom. And in that crucible, my soul is reforged. I'm a mosaic of everyone that I've ever loved, even for a heartbeat. The foundation of my soul is still constructed from those other sorts of love. I'm filled full and perhaps even beyond with the love my friends and family offer, and I hope that I might be such a useful component to them as well. I know there's more to build upon, though. My soul's foundations and structure are laid, and they await purpose. I look forward to the next time I get to continue this construction. I don't know what sort of shape it will take. In fact, that is the exquisite imperfect and incredible thing about that sort of love, to take my existing soul and imbue it with such a unique quality, a quality based in the connection it is constructed out of. And it might appear in so many different configurations. None are the same as the last, but neither of them any particularly better or worse than that which came before. And in that all of those love, all of those different types of love, are unconditionally beautiful. I know I've only scraped the surface of this sort of love. That it can, in fact, become so much more intricate than I have even yet had the chance to explore. I can sense its powerful detail and the fractal intricacies filling out beyond the wildest of my imaginations like layers of the universe unfolding before a telescope, and then an eye, a microscope, and beyond. It might be weeks, it might be years, but I know I'll find that sort of love again. Probably when I'm least anticipating it. It's gonna be so cool. Happy Pride Month.